up everybody? I'm Nick with Mad Multi Rotors again, and today we have Foxier's new F3 Racing Flight Controller. Now this is Foxier's first flight controller to the market, and it's supposed to be an upgraded version of the SP Racing F3 Flight Controller. I'm curious how it's going to work out, and I think this will be a two-part review. I plan on installing it in my OAS Wasp 230. My first review is probably just going to cover basic clean flight, beta flight use. But my next review is probably going to use race flight with the new multi-shot firmware. I really want to push the limits of this board and see what it's capable of. So let's go see what we have, shall we? So here it is. The famed Foxier F3 flight controller. Same size as standard Nays, industry standard 35mm by 35mm. Inside the package, you got the controller, you got your right angle pins, you got your straight pins, and then a little set for the UARTs and you've got three of the adapters for the JST plugs. Now I posted up a little while back asking what you guys want to know and I got a list of information so we're gonna run through this a little bit. I'm gonna go over the details some more specific some not so much. If you have any more questions drop them in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can. Now first off big complaint the JST plugs. Everybody hates them. Not sure why except for vulnerability and being fragile but I didn't even use them. Um, there's a plug, a uh, hot wire spot right here on the bottom right here for 3.3 then you have your LED tab then you have the PPM tab and then you have a ground tab as well so if you're running PPM or SBUS all you have to do is, is solder up to one of these four little points right here. And you have your RSSI tab and then three others for uh, UART1 that work in conjunction with it. Not necessary but they're there. Then you've got two separate UARTs which are also linked to the smart ports which allow you to run up to four different individual components per port albeit I'm pretty sure it's one at a time. I only run OSD in the black box, so I actually don't have anything else to plug into it. Now, confusing part is it does come with one plug. So I don't know if they're selling more. I haven't seen them on their website. So if you need more, uh, you might have a little adventure on your hands. If you're not running PPM or SBUS and you're trying to retain your old technology, they do include the splitter. Plugs in and allows you to run to each one of your channels fairly basic, it's got its eight wires. It does have through pins for all the motors per the standard. And in my opinion these pin holes are actually bigger than most others. I normally have a harder time getting wires through but these are actually pretty loose. I mean obviously they're not going to be tight until you solder them but I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy the holes seem bigger. It is an I2C 6050 gyro and I was looking at the black box data traces, not a whole lot of vibration. It didn't take me very long to tune. It is capable of running 8 kilohertz. Um, I haven't played with that yet because this is my first foray into uh, race flight and multi-shot. And right now I'm running 4 kilohertz on both and it, it handles incredibly. I, I cannot believe the, how big a difference it makes from a standard Rev 5 board. It is out currently. It's going for $20 on SurveilZone's site. You can go there, search up Foxier, or if you want to get specific, it's the Foxier F3 upgraded SP Racing Flight Controller. Um, as far as the upgrades go, it does not have the barometer or the magnometer, but it does offer more smart ports, and it has the built-in black box, which the SP Racing has, but I believe this is a bigger uh, memory, uh, memory chip. Somebody was worried about RGB LEDs because in the, in the breakdown it didn't show a very clear spot. Again, it's the second pad from the bottom here. All you do is solder to it and enable it in clean flight, base fl or beta flight, or race flight, and you'll have LED control. It does come with the black box built in. It's an 8 megabyte system. It is slow. When I download it, I mean, again, this is my first black box, first race board, but it is slow. It takes a long time to download. So... I don't know if that'll be fixed later. I don't even know if that's fixable, but it's there. <clears throat> they also have, again, one plug for both the battery and the buzzer. So I guess if you need another one, you either need to source the plugs or steal one from somebody else. Um, 
I didn't use the battery hookup because again my OSD did not function right so couldn't plug it in. And it does run race flight very 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 well. Um, again I'm on that 4 kilohertz refresh cycle and it's barely pulling 3 percent of processor power. On clean flight just to do the initial check it was only pulling like 0 0.02 percent uh, processing power so I mean this thing can run everything. I've deactivated nothing. I literally flashed race flight, flashed multi shot and checked my settings and went. I mean I, I didn't disable anything. It still has the the accelerometers enabled. It still has the gyros enabled. It still has well there's no barometer but I, I turned off nothing. That's that's the point here. I turned off nothing. Um, personally it flies really well. I've got it installed here in this wasp right now my OAS Wasp, I've been flying around doing some tests. Um, it fits well, works well, and it does, it does allow you to use the Spectrum satellites. There was no clear means of doing it, but all you do is 3.3 volts from that pad, pull the ground from that pad, and then stick it in the receiver slot on one of the other UARTs. I believe I have it on UART 3, and that was it. Um, there's no dedicated plug for it, or SBUS, but it was no big deal to wire up. It was you know straight in, straight out. So currently on the market, there's quite a few of these F3 boards, ranging in price, ranging in stats, ranging in abilities. But let's be honest: if you're running an F3 board, you're going to be running it for fast loop times, great performance, great handling, great everything. So you're not going to need all the fancy attachments and hookups and add-ons. And I will say this Foxhair board for twenty dollars is one hell of a flight controller handles all the capabilities, it's only 20 bucks, it works great, and I'll probably end up running on a couple other of my quads now, but definitely, definitely a good idea. Um, I definitely like it, and I would recommend it to anybody who wants to make a jump into race flight, or multi-shot, or just, hell, have a really reliable basic flying board.